Hey, this is Dan Wall. I'm here with Lone Star Percussion. Uh, I got a set of bass mallets here that I'm going to talk about, kind of compare and contrast the differences in them, and uh, kind of just give a little detail on what, what's the great things about each one of them. The first bass mallet I have here is the Vic Firth MBH Core Master Series mallet. The really cool thing about this, I like to call this the classic bass mallet. It stood the test of time. It really, it really has been used by a lot of bass players. It has a very straight shaft, very small taper in the, hand, in the handle, uh, and a very hard felt. Uh, the good thing about the small taper is that it's really made, designed for kind of any size hand, from a small child up to an adult. You can really still get a lot of great use out of this mallet. Uh, whether you're a professional, uh, drum corps student, you know, all the way to college, high school, even junior high, uh, elementary school students. Uh, the second mallet we have is the uh, Promark, the Performer Series mallets. It's very similar to the, the Vic Firth mallet uh, in, in the design. They have a little bit harder felt, gives you a little bit more articulation in the bass drum. Uh, what they did do is they added a notch or a flare, a lot of people like to call it, I, I prefer to call it taper, uh, to the mallet. Uh, to add a little bit more weight to the top end of the mallet. Uh, by adding that weight, you get a little bit more rebound off the drum. Uh, the other thing they did was they increased the taper into the hand. Uh, so when you're actually holding it, uh, you get a little bit more of the, the mallet in your hand. It's really designed for, for a, a bigger hand or a more experienced hand. You kind of know how to use the fingers and use the, the full uh, ability of this mallet. So the next mallet we have is the Innovator Percussion FBX Series Bass Mallet. Very similar to both the Promark and the Vic Firth Mallet. You have the increased taper on the, the top end of the mallet, uh, again for that added weight, uh, a little bit more rebound off the drum, but it kind of matched the, the, the small taper in the handle, again, perfect for any size hand, uh, young player to an experienced player. Uh, the really cool thing about this mallet is the, the actual felt on it is incredibly hard. Uh, so if you like a nice articulate sound, uh, if you're playing a lot of rolls uh, or rudimental passages, this, this felt will give you a lot of articulation, a lot of definition in what you're playing. Uh, the next mallets we have are kind of a, uh, the new to the market mallets. Um, the first one we have is the uh, Tama Star Performer Series or the DW mallet. Again, very similar in nature to the other mallets, wood handle, uh, all of them made from hickory. Uh, the Tama mallet though, what it's done is it's taken this taper on the top and increased how long the taper is. Uh, and why, why that was, was basically to give more weight again to the top of the mallet to increase the rebound, but also give more durability to the actual mallet itself. Uh, so if you're playing a lot of rim clicks, rim shots are, are becoming more popular with bass drumming now. Uh, this actually will absorb a lot more of that uh, and kind of increase the, the longevity of the mallet. Um, just like the Promark mallet, kind of a thicker taper in the handle uh, to put, a, again, a little bit more meat of the stick into your hand. Uh, and, and just like the Vic Firth mallet, get the same, same exact uh, felt that you have on top, nice and hard, uh, just enough to get everything you want out of the drum head. The latest that I've seen is the a head mallet. This is the, from the Chavez Arsenal series. Uh, it's actually the one different mallet from everything here. Uh, has been made out of aluminum. Has a nice, very light feel, uh, hard felt, but it has this taper for the hand so you still get the same feel as any of the other base mallets. Uh, even though when you pick this up and you feel it and it's a very light mallet, uh, the good thing about it is it has this counterweight balance in it that makes it feel like any wood mallet you would get. Uh, so when you're actually playing on a drum, you get a lot of rebound because of that counterbalance. Um, and it's incredibly durable as far as the material. The aluminum is gonna last a very long time. When you're doing rim clicks and rim shots, you're not taking too much out of the actual stick itself. Uh, because it's a very special light aluminum, it's not taking too much out of the rim uh, that you do get with some of the harder uh, hickory wood mallets. Uh, so this is, very innovative, and it's probably the next step in, in base mallets. We'll see a lot more of those. We carry this and many more. Thanks for sharing some time with me. Catch you guys around.